third grade review is filmed in front of a live studio audience. So today we are back for another unboxing. This actually brings us back to the first episode that we had. Naruto. Sasuke. What? From Naruto. <laughs> yes, this harks back to the first episode of this channel. Mm. And I cringe yes. whenever I watch that episode because I feel it was awful. It was just... But yes, this is the second release from 3-0. Sasuke from Naruto and we're gonna unbox it today and there is Sasuke the box really nice let's open it's it up cool. Cool. oh cool. wow yeah very cool I like this sharing gun yeah. Sasuke Uchiha Fix Zero I hopefully 3-0 continues this line because I do want to complete Team 7 that's my main thing Kakashi and Sakura alright here's gonna be our unboxing oh, let's pull them out Put this to the side. Oh, I love the signs. Oh yeah, right. Well, the same thing. Signs. Wow, look, he has that, uh, this giant thing. I forgot what that is. Remember when Naruto would clone into it and they would do the attack? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, so cool. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Looks just like him. Oh, it's not you know, him. it's so it's different. I mean, unlike the other figures that we opened in the past, this is different because this is like based on a cartoon character. So likeness obviously has to be dead on, right? You yes. can't you can't have likeness that is not dead on because it's a cartoon. You really can mess it up. But yeah, look at that. It's a little canteen, the sign. We have to check how flexible the figure is going to be, obviously, because he has to do all his ninja moves. But so far, it feels really good. Cool. Yeah. Nice clothing. Nice This is different faces. His, uh, what is that called? Ch Chirohi, whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> the hands, the symbols. Oh, that's him doing the symbol. Does he have as much as Naruto? Uh, I think it's about the same, the same thing. Same so amount. Doesn't come with the base, which is great. I don't care about that. That's three zero. They don't take. They don't bring bases with them, which is cool. Yeah. First impressions. Hey, okay. nice. I love it. Yeah, nice figure. All right. All right. This is blue lightning something when he uses his power. Yeah. This is going to be a nice addition to the Naruto. Can't wait display. for Team 7. Yeah. So we'll take a look, closer look at it and then we'll go from there. All right. Good unboxing. Good job. Wait a minute. Does he have the black mark? Check oh. on his neck. Uh, no, he doesn't have the black mark. Oh, yeah, he <gasps> does. Look at that. <laughs> you have to put on feature, man. Oh, yeah. There we go. He does yes. have it. Very good. Thank you for stopping me before I ended the video. <laughs> he does have it. And uh, yeah, very nice. That's cute. Good. Yeah. Good job, 3 zero. Good job, as always. All right. Uh, now we can end it. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>Okay, so we're going to look at Sasuke today in a little bit more detail. It's very accurate to the cartoon. I mean, you really can mess it up, like I mentioned before. The figure of this body is unlike other figures because they are able to bend in various different positions. And you expect that because this is a figure that needs to do a lot of poses, like ninja, attacks, you know, different things. So it makes sense. Double knees, double elbows. And because they are cartoons, they have to do a lot more things. Now the feet, they bend around. There is no toe bend, but that's fine. A lot of good articulation in the neck also. There's like a double jointer for the neck. Look at those, look. Yeah, Sasuke dance. Very flexible figure. It's very well done and it's completely accurate to the cartoon. But you know, it isn't difficult to find that accuracy. And comparing to Naruto, same size, same height. Uh, I think Sasuke's a little taller, but I'm not quite sure. It might be the hair. And they do have the same type of body, double jointed. So. 
Sasuke comes with a Thuma Shuriken. He comes with two kunai knives. He comes with five pairs of hands. One are attached to each other. And an extra hand to hold his Fuma Shuriken. Please don't cancel me like you did with my brother, my twin brother. He also comes with three different faceplates. Two here, plus a normal one. And with his Chidori effect part. Is it fair to give it a perfect score when the bar is low? Here's the thing. There are tons of Sasuke figures out there in different sizes, right? And the people that are making this are working from an animation. So there isn't really a ton of work here, but just to copy it. But it is accurate to the character, even though it's a cartoon. I mean, I have to be fair and give it, give it that five. The figure is well made, has a lot of flexibility and posing abilities. You can probably do about 90% of the poses from the show. His clothing are also fabric, so no fear of stretching or messing up. The neck area for his shirt also has a wire to keep shape. Nice touch. Could it be better? Well, yeah, I think maybe they can try to hide some of those knee and elbow joints somehow. You know, I, again, the figures that are out there all have those same kind of bending joints that are obvious to the naked eye. Am I nitpicking? Or maybe. So let's give it a 4. This is the young Sasuke, so he doesn't have his swords or all his other different throwing stars and weapons that he had later on. Although at his age in the cartoon, I think he had the scrolls and he could also do the fire jutsu thing, which, you know, he blew fire from his mouth. Uh, that would have been nice to include, I think, just to differentiate it from other figures. Um, you know, we, we're working in one six scale. Uh, they can add a few more things, I believe. So let's give it a 3.5. It's $150 for this figure, and it's still available as of the release of this video. I think, as I've mentioned earlier, the issue is that there are so many different versions of Sasuke and Naruto out there, of these, of these figures out there. What can you do to make it different, right? Even as a huge Naruto fan that I am, I wasn't completely thrilled at this figure. So, I'm gonna give it a 3.5. It's a Sasuke figure, much like all the other ones out there, and I keep repeating that. Maybe a bit more articulated and with more replay value, but still, just another Sasuke. If you're a huge fan of Naruto and must own all things related, then this is for you. If you're not, this probably would not be in your radar at all. You also have to consider that this was a, a cartoon figure, right? So how is it going to look with your other figures that are more realistic if, if you collect those and that, that's kind of the problem where I'm running into or I actually don't want to display these in my detail to my other figures but I'll figure that out uh, and as a Naruto fan and one that doesn't own a lot of Naruto things I appreciate it but again I think maybe a better price would have been 100 or 125 dollars for this uh, so this is a total score of four well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lukewarm figure, and I don't think there's a lot of interest, but if you're a hardcore Naruto fan, awesome. If you enjoyed the episode, why not hit that like button and make a comment? And if you really liked it, why not subscribe? And if you hate it, well, thanks for watching everyone. See you on the next one.